What's up guys? So today we're going to Salvation Army. It's half off everything. The bad part is I woke up late. I actually set my alarm for nine o'clock. I looked at it and I was like, all right, cool. It's good to go. And then I fell asleep again. I woke up at 10 and I was like, damn, I missed it. So I went back to sleep again, woke up at 12, shipped out some packages. And now I'm going to Salvation Army. It's like 1.30 maybe. And it's probably going to be dead, but we might find something cool that someone missed on and uh, make some money. Oh my God, this guy is dangerous. Holy crap, this guy like switched lanes mid lane. <laughs> mid lane, this guy switched lanes. And I'm trying to cross the freaking sidewalk. And then afterwards, I gotta go pay my mortgage. So I gotta go to Wells Fargo, get some cash. Then I gotta go to BB&T, pay it over there. It's a, it's a confusing process. I like to pay it in person. I don't like paying it online. That's just me, I like getting a receipt. But, I mean, that's just my opinion. So we're gonna go to Salvation Army. I'm wearing the mask. Obviously, you gotta wear the mask. It's important. Protect yourself, protect others, and uh, let's get through this pandemic together, guys. So, uh, hopefully, you get back to the regular schedule. Too beat up for me. These suede shoes never really last when they get really beat up. Five bucks. Also, the Jordan 5 baby shoes do pretty bad, so they'd have to be like mint condition for me to buy them. Right, I'm gonna show you guys what I got. We got a size of large for $2 polar off the rim. This will go for like 25 bucks. We have a striped Lacoste for $3.50. I'll probably go for 20 to 25. This is kind of distressed. It's got like scuff right here. It's got some scuffs down there, but we got a Barcelona for only two bucks. We have this Project Rock, and it looks like the Rock logo, Under Armour. That's $2. All right, next for $3.50, we got this Ma Mai Tai Hawaiian shirt. It's pretty cool. We've got a Nike hoodie for $3.50. It's got one of these like knit tags i forget what it's called but those do really well usually we have a billabong camo pretty cool it's like a dry fit material for dollar fifty and then a notre dame under armor for two bucks all right so goodwill first pickup georgetown champion jersey size 40. i don't know who number 50 is i was hoping that this was like a lakers jersey but it wasn't I'll take that though. Four dollars. Hate when they write on it, but can't really complain. It's not too bad. It was almost a fight outside. Like this guy like chased him down with a knife. That was crazy. I thought it was just gonna be people screaming at each other, but this guy like whipped out a knife. He was like, Wah! I was like, oh, okay, okay. I just got serious. All right, so for three dollars, I got this women's James jersey, Columbia, and then we have a kids Columbia jersey, three dollars as well. And then $3 for this LeBron James USA Olympic jersey. $3, probably sell that one for like $25. I'm gonna guess like $40 bucks on the Georgetown jersey, unless it's like a really, really good player. We got a vintage blank anvil. It's a yellow t shirt for a dollar. And then for $4, we have this Black History Month Nike dry fit t shirt. And I think you usually get like $20 bucks for these, so I'll grab it for the $4, but. If it was like any other Nike tee, I probably would have passed on it. But the Black History Month like series does really well. Size large and it's four bucks. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys part of this tee and see if you guys could guess it. It's a single stitch. Look at this. That's the bottom. All right, here's the tag. This is the weirdest McDonald's t-shirt I've ever seen. Made in USA size large. <laughs> that's it. That's literally it. I'm pretty sure that's Ronald McDonald's feet. But like, <laughs> it's like the most random t-shirt for five bucks. I'm gonna grab it. That's so funny, it feels like it's dead stock too. Better not be dry rotted. I don't think it is. That's so weird. All right guys, so we're locking up the electric booty. Today we're going to Women's in Distress, which is kind of like the opposite way of where I was originally going. So I went to the post office, but I got a text message from the manager saying that she has some baby shoes or I think kids shoes and some jerseys. I'm gonna go to Thrift, Cent uh, Thrift City afterwards and hopefully can find some good stuff today. I wasn't really planning on thrifting, but I'll uh, see what we can find. All right, so I got first dibs on the shoes, so that was pretty cool. We have these Jordan 4s. I think they're called Monsoon. And then these are Air Raids. They go for like 40, and then these go for like 50. I got them both for $10 each. I actually have a coupon for $25 here, so I gotta find some more stuff. One day I spent like $100, and they have a thing where if you spend $25, you get a $5 gift card. And I spent a lot of money one day, so I have a lot of gift cards to use. Those look like almost brand new, the Air Raids. Oh, 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 now they're not brand new. Look at the bottoms. 
probably worn like one time, tried on at the store maybe. And then these, I just gotta clean them up with a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser to get top dollar. But all that will clean out pretty good. All right, found two t-shirts. Both of them are gonna be $3 without a red mark on them. Red line, $5. Not red line, $3. And they're both blank 90s Fruit of the Loom. I've never seen this tag. It might be from another country, like, might be like a Canadian tag or something. But I usually get like 25 for black ones and then probably like 20 for the gray one. But blank tees sell really well. It's not single stitch, but this tag is definitely older. You can tell by like how crispy it is. <laughs> it's definitely in a lot better quality in the old days. All right, pretty solid finds there. I spent $17. Apparently with the coupons that I had, you have to spend over like $5 to use the coupon. So you get $5 off each item. I got two pairs of shoes and I got two t-shirts all for 17 bucks. So really good profit margins there. And I got those coupons for spending a huge amount of money at that thrift store. I think it's on Wednesdays or Thursdays they have a sale where if you spend $20, you get a $5 gift card or a little paper that says five bucks. So you get $5 off your next purchase, which is pretty awesome. So if you guys are in the area, check out Women's in Distress. It's kind of near this place called CLS Plasma. You could donate your blood and get some money. <laughs> I'm smiling, but you guys can't tell. All right, so White Tag is half off at Thrift City. This is $2 for this Italy team jersey, Kappa. Two bucks, probably sell for like 25. This one is $4 for the Barcelona. And it's pretty cool. Size extra large for kids. And these usually move for about $20 to $25. Then we have a Nike zip-up jacket for $8. I think they're called like the Tech Fleece, size XL. Maybe my friend Creek Vintage will want it. He likes all these like running shirts and stuff like that. I did just ship him a package though like a couple weeks ago and it still hasn't gotten there. Packages are so delayed right now. And then for $4 we have this Classics by Palmland. And it's got like this Kooji style sweater. And I usually get about 25 to 30 bucks for these. There were some cool jerseys over here, but just a little bit too much right now. Maybe on half off day, I'll grab this one. If they're still available, sometimes they sell out. I'll grab this on half off day too for $3. This would be a cool one, Mickey Sorcerers. It's a cool kid's jersey. And then there's a couple other ones I would buy on half off day too. Like if this was ever half off, I'd get this Columbia jersey for three. There's two of those, but $6, the margins just aren't there for me. And I don't want to take that kind of gamble. I don't know if those will sell like in a day or a year. XL. The other one's over here. One of them's 10, one of them's eight. All right, so we have this tie-dye from Dolphins in the Ocean. It's on this Gildan, but like the Gildan is a straight tag. I've never seen this one before. I'm gonna say like early 2000s for two bucks. We got this Purgatory 90s Gildan tag. See, that's the older, older Gildan. Ultra Cotton for $1.99. I just really like the embroidery, really nice. Good colors and it's pretty simple, but still like 20 bucks. I never understood why their prices were so ridiculous on hats. Look at this, fans off the wall. $20 for this hat. Come on, man. What's up, guys? So I'm gonna try to get this video out today. I know I've been slacking on the videos lately, but I've just been super busy with eBay. Random life stuff that goes on. You guys know everyone has problems, but just gotta keep pushing through it, locking up the electric booty. I'm working on getting my license. I did buy a car, so I just gotta get my license and we'll be going all over places. I also gotta practice driving because I've only driven one time and I was literally, the car was in my parking lot, like in my uh, driveway, and I had to edge the lawn. So I had to move it back up, like get into the center, edge the lawn, and then do it again and like repark it. I didn't do a terrible job, I just did it really slow because I didn't want to mess up or it was my first time driving. I don't know what the brake or the gas pedal feel like. So it was my first time and that was like last week. So probably have to do it again when I do the uh, a lawn. But um, I'm not gonna put my car in the middle of my driveway because sometimes my neighbor likes to park next to me because they have like six cars. And that's actually the neighbor that I bought the car from. So gotta do them a favor. So we're going to Thrift Sense. It's half off everything other than yellow tag, but that's usually like brand new shoes. I did see my competition that does shoes and he was at... I hate when people have like those mufflers that like make like a gun shot sound. I was just like, oh, gunfire. Um, yeah, I saw my competition at the post office, so we have a little bit of time to catch up. And he probably already stopped here before he went here because 
I would probably do that too if I didn't have to carry, because I carried 35 packages to the post office. But hopefully we can find some good stuff. It says no bags allowed, you just put them at the front. And hopefully we can find some good stuff though. See you guys soon. These are the bread and butter items I love. Size XL Jordan T, but it's a Jordan 11 T. Cool gray probably. Pretty cool spell out right there. $1.50, sell it for like 20 bucks, maybe 25. Then we have another Nike shirt that says, don't sweat my swag. Size XL for $2.50. I'll just keep this on my eBay for like 10 years and eventually someone will be like, oh, it's worth like $40. <laughs> this is a Galaxy Note 3. I'm gonna guess this is like seven years old maybe. I don't know, you think someone will buy it? I think so. There's tech nerds that love t-shirts, so $1.50. Maybe sell for 20 bucks. I mean, I'm just gonna list it for $20. I don't know what it's worth. I didn't try looking it up. This is a dope Office Depot 2002. Oh, and it's a Panthers shirt. Uh, so random. There we go. It's not bad. Under Armour, Tampa Bay Rays, $2.50. All right, guys, I've only gone through these two racks and the shoes and my phone's about to die. So I'm buying this Olympics Dry Fit USA tank top for $2.50. And I also just found a swoosh Nike dry fit for a dollar. Pretty basic, but a dollar into 15 bucks, someone will buy it. And it's dry fit, which is a good style of, or I don't know what it's called, co-brand? No, version? I don't know, style? <laughs> Topic? Um, I can't think of the word. Uh, oh, we'll just go out, we're gonna buy it, we're gonna buy it, guys. I'm, I'm messing up here big time. I'll see you guys when we get home. I'll show you guys the rest of the finds that we get from here. All right, my iPhone's about to die, it's 3%, but I just found an absurd amount of Nike Jordan shorts. These are insane. There's so many. There's some KD ones, there's Jordan. There's this one that's pretty crazy, like this pattern. They're all size 2XL, which is kind of upsetting because I would have wore some of these, but look at that, North Carolina. I know Jordan went to North Carolina, so these are all gonna be $5 each. And I'll probably sell them for like $25 to $30 each. And then some of them, maybe a little bit less, some maybe a little bit more. See, there's a LeBron one right there. And then this one looks like a Oregon colorway. It's just a Nike dry fit pair. And then I found five more pairs down here. See, so yeah, my phone's gonna die, but I'll show you guys when I get home. This is gonna be a good score. All right, guys, made it home. I wanted to show you guys what I grabbed at Thrift Sense. Everything was half off. And if, if you guys could see the tags, everything. 50 cents for this, come on. Like this was only 99 cents and then half off. Masters collection hat. This thing, I've never seen it with like the metallic like that. But I'm gonna go over some of my finds. We got this Huff hat. I think this was $2.50. It was a five panel. Then this is the, oh, I already forgot. Mississippi Braves, I believe. And it's a minor league team for two bucks. And then we have two fly knit runners, both women's size. I think one's a seven and one's a six. But we have a Jordan 7 shirt. We have this Lacoste shirt for $4. Everything total, I'll tell you guys the total. The total was $117, which is awesome because there was so much good inventory. I'm gonna describe a lot of these items like a breakfast. So a lot of like the small items like this, this is just like bread and butter items. Then something like this would be maybe a little bit more like sausage or a pancake. But there was definitely a lot of really good pancake items in here. Like bread and butter items are good too. Spending $1 to make like 15 bucks on a tank top. We have another one, which $2.50, Tampa Bay Rays. We have a Lacoste hoodie for $6.50. I usually get like 35 to 40 for these. Then we have this long sleeve, the North Face, $1.50, 15 bucks, $3, sell it for 15, 20 dollars. I decided to try this brand out. We got Callaway OptiDry, and this was really cheap. I don't know where the price tag is, but I believe this was only $2.50. And I was just wanted to try out a couple brands and see how they do. And that's how I do it. If it's cheap, it's in good condition, then I'll try it out. We have this Nike shirt. I believe I showed you guys that. And I showed you guys that when I was shopping. We have a Samsung Galaxy Note 3 t-shirt. $1.50 for that one. And I just like the graphic on the back. It's pretty simple. Then we have the Jordan 11 shirt. I believe I showed that as well. These two shoes were both very cheap. This one was $7.99, so it was only four bucks. And this one was $9.99. So it was only $5. And these go for about 35 to 50 bucks, and these go for about the same, 35. And then some of these were going for about 80, but these are used, and I'm gonna clean them up with a Mr. Clean Magic Racer. That's how I clean all my shoes. 
I don't usually clean up the bottoms of shoes unless it's like a very, very expensive shoe. If it's like a $200 shoe, I'll clean up the bottoms. But most of the time I don't. We have these Oakley swim trunks. We have these Ocean Pacific swim trunks. We have these Quicksilver swim trunks. And then we have probably 10 pairs of Jordan, Nike, and KD. I know Nike is KD, but you guys know what I mean. Like KD, LeBron, Jordan, all of these were either like three to five dollars each. And that's awesome, like such easy flips on these. And they're all size 2XL. So if you guys are size 2XL, these will definitely be going up on my eBay store soon. And we got these Jordan shorts. Some of them are basic, some of them are really crazy. Like these ones are a little bit more basic. They got black and red and a little bit of white stripes. That was $5. These ones probably go for the most, maybe like 40, 50 bucks. But then there are some crazy ones. Like look at the design on this one. I love this. And then the Jumpman's down there. You got like this shark tooth pattern, five bucks. This one's just a plain purple, but maybe someone wants to wear their grapes with some purple basketball shorts, if you guys don't know what grapes are. They're grape fives, but there's also tons of purple colorway shoes, so I'm not gonna try to remember them all right now. Oh, these are size 3X, so some of them are a little bit bigger. But these ones are cool. Like They have like these like stripes down the side, if you guys could see that. $5, I'm gonna sell each of these anywhere from, I think $20 will be my lowest, so I'll be asking 30 to 40 bucks for a lot of these. Like these, I saw people charging like 50 to 60 to $70 for the UNC ones. And then these are size 2XL dry fit for four bucks. So if I buy it for $4 and I sell it for anything more than like 30, I'm winning huge. So $4, sell it for, what am I gonna sell this pair? The Oregon ones, probably like, 25 to 30 dollars but if someone pays full price because a lot of the times you do ask a little bit more like i'll probably ask like 40 bucks on these kd shorts someone might pay the full 40 or they'll offer like 25 bucks but i'm only paying five dollars to make 25 dollars and you guys can see how many pairs i have it's crazy these ones were a little bit cheaper three dollars because they do have like snags and wear but i figured three bucks sell them for 25 Easy money. And then this was another really cool pair. I think this is a LeBron pair. Yeah, LeBron's right there. These are size 2XL, a nice purple colorway. I'm gonna call these the Charlotte Hornet colorway because they have a LeBron that's the Charlotte Hornet. I think they're the LeBron nines, maybe? This is a Jordan, size 2XL, and these were five bucks. So you guys could see the potential in all these shorts and all these clothes I paid $117, and I am very, very happy with that. This is gonna be all listed on eBay within the next day. It is nighttime now. I did play a little bit of Fortnite with some friends, so we'll see what happens, but it's looking good, looking good. Hope you guys are enjoying these videos. Make sure you guys subscribe if you guys are new, if you guys are interested in thrifting videos, learning new brands, just gaining knowledge and entertainment by myself. Make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button to support the channel, subscribe, turn on notifications. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys comment down below. Let me know what kind of videos you guys wanna see in the future. You wanna see thrifting videos, flea market, what's sold, maybe like an unboxing video. I love doing all four of those topics. So make sure you guys leave them down in the comments so I know what to choose for the next video. I hope you guys have a nice day. Peace out guys, bye bye.